nayo kupatia nafasi ni kujisi na ukabi nafadhali fanya samari kwa kila kitu tunaongea kwa sababu ya munda tuko wengi karibu pilisira Asante sana, uh, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, our Ministers, our Members of Parliament, our Peers, na ungea kwa niyaba ya wakulima wa Nyeri County, ambapo ato sisi kinekindiza murana katika namba ya kukuza parachichi. In Nyeri County, we are now at 14,946 metric tons, and in 2022, 896.7 million. We are looking to grow that in a big way. Our key issues are, one, a harmonized tax regime. A single tax, as far as possible, simplified and in relation to Article 2095 of the Constitution. The tax that allows the product to move and county by county, there is harmonization of that tax. That's going to spend a lot of time and already the members of parliament are on it on the reforms. Awareness, when that tax comes, if it is items, if it is pin, a lot of awareness, but as far as possible, the tax higher up in the value chain, not on the primary uh, producers. In terms of aggregation centers, and we are very happy with the private aggregators, including in Nyeri, but county-based aggregation centers. Narumoru, where our Waziri, we have the county industrial park, the Kaip is in Narumoru, but also our Bogo farm, which is much better near the highway, together with value addition at county level. On support to counties, Farmers' mobilization, we still need a lot of groups, a lot of cooperatives, but also incentives. There was a fund for avocado farmers, the SEFA fund, but we need more funds and incentives. The average age of a farmer in Mount Kenya and other regions is 63 years. We are proposing, Your Excellency the Deputy President, that women and youth are more involved in this sector. More women, and we are saying women are sure bet. So more sure bet and more young people in this sector as well traceability mechanism, because of the problem of immature avocados, we prefer a traceability mechanism for all our avocado farmers. When the avocados are from Nyeri, they can be traced to Nyeri, from Moranga, from everywhere, so that that traceability mechanism deals with the issue of quality and also helps us with the requirements in the EU uh, standards. On the markets, uh, China still remains a potential market, changing to unripe instead of the frozen, the unripe uh, fruits, the unripe avocados with the number of days for their ripening. But as far as possible, and I'm very happy also about the EU EPA, the 27 member states, the EPA market and the EU market, I think that needs to be our biggest challenge. And we promise that this sector will grow uh, in many, many ways. And lastly, uh, Your Excellency the Deputy President, the farmers of avocado are also farmers of coffee, so fertilizer for the coffee farmers, and using avocado for afforestation. Do you remember afore, uh, uh, Avocado is also a tree within our environment and greening and, and, and tree uh, your sector. So just looking at all that, I don't know what you call it in government, uh, the one sector approach, so looking at avocado also to address other problems that have been in other sectors, including uh, uh, coffee, but making sure that the fertilizer does get to the farmers on time. Nyeri can actually do the two crops and we can have the delayed crop. So in Nyeri, we are also looking forward to joining the rest of the country in making the avocado the best crop. And just last for me, private sector led, as much private sector as we can have in this sector. Some government support, county government support, but very largely uh, private sector led. Thank you very much, Deputy President. Now, Leo Pia, now I'm going to go to the Parachichi. Asani sana, Mwishimua Nukambi. Asani tampatia nafasi Hassan Warimbwa. Karimbu. Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, and all protocols observed, good afternoon. Uh, Mr. Deputy President, first of all, by us being here, we are very happy, and at the same time, we are very disappointed by what has happened in this uh, finance bill. MPs wako hapa wa mjitetea, lakini kama wakulima, tunakata, mulicho tuambia. Mkipewa karatasi kubwa ambayo mnafaa kuangalia a document. Kama huo mda ikutoshi, sema aiwezekani nataka mwaka moja, mwaka mbili niangalie. Usipitisha kitu ambacho kinazulisha manikama hii. Hapa kuna wafanyibiashara, kuna wakulima, 
ambao walikuwa wanafanya kazi zingine saa hii mwingine alikuwa na nakamua ngombe yake mwingine angekuwa anaangalia vakado yake so kuna shida ambayo tunao pande hii uh, kitu ya kwanza ni kuwa ee teams ibili hii inavyoimepitishwa kwa wakulima pale ambapo wanakaa kitu ya kwanza hatujafikisha huduma za kutosha wengine hawana stima wengine teknolojia hawana ya kisasa na pia huyu mkulima analipa ushuru kwa kile kitu ambacho anamunua hii fertilizer ambayo tunasema ni subsidized hatuieni mali iko kuna madawa kwa paratisha ambazo zinafaa kutumika ndio tuweze kuiangalia mwanzangu aliyekuwa hapo mbele yangu amesema kuwa kuna zile madawa za kuangalia black spots na vitu kama hizo hizo madawa pia ni bei kali na kwa hivyo inamaanisha nini inamaanisha huyu mkulima tukimkata ushuru tunamuumiza maana hata saa hii ya uh, extension services serikali ya ipeani ambacho ni kazi ya county lakini county hawaangalii mkulima kazi yao ni kuangalia barabara ni mara tupate pesa kwa mfuko amalizane nayo tuna uzuni sana kwa hiyo alafu uh, kitu kingine ambayo ndugu mgawa ameelewa alikuwa muongea hapa ni kuhusu rejection of produce personally mimi ni mkulima na pia mimi ni exporter na ningependa kusema kitu moja kuhusu rejection of produce ni pande ya serikali imetuangusha kwa nini hizi extension services zinafaa kuwa zinapeana kwa mkulima huyu mkulima aweze kufunzwa kuanzia mwanzo mpaka mwisho hiyo vakado na ipalilia namna gani unafaa uiangalie vipi na ni mda gani unafaa kukana hiyo vakado kabla ukate kwa mti maana exporters wengine ambao wako hapa watakwambia kwa vakado inafaa kuwa inakaa mwezi sita kabla iweze kutolewa kwa mti lakini wakulima wengi hawajui hivyo inafika mwezi nne anakata anaenda nayo na pia madam Christine Chesara wako ako hapa anaweza kukusaidia kwa hapo kwa mambo ya extension na ana, ana timu nzuri itamsaidia na pia at the same time hana watu wa kutosha wa kufanya kazi sasa kwa exporters wanafaa kwa kila consumer kabla yende lazima wafanye kitu inaitwa inspection na hii inspection inafanywa na HCDA na inafanywa na KFIS unapata mara KFIS wanakuambia hawana magari HCD pia hawana watu wa kutosha wa kufanya hiyo kazi kuna shida na at the same time hii mzigo kwa port ina wakati ya kuingia sasa hii inspect kwa sababu ya serikali imetufail kwa pande moja hii mzigo wangu wa milioni tatu itawachwa na huko mlima atakosa kulipwa itakuwa namna gani so kwa hivyo tunaomba sana mtuweze mtuweze kutuangalia kwa pande hiyo na pia your excellency hii sekta ya avocado imeza kuajiri vijana wengi sana na hii masuala ya e teams itaangusha hii biashara na itamaanisha nini vijana hao wote kwa ile kazi nzuri ambayo wameza kufanya watarudi kwa madarati maana watakosa kazi ya kufanya huyu mkulima ukimpata hiyo ushuru hakuna kazi ataweza kufanya atakata miti na arudi nyumbani anafanya kazi nyingine hii sector imeplay vijana wengi actually i think i'm the youngest exporter in kenya na mimi pia ni mkulima naona naweza kuwa naweza kuelezea kuwa hii sekta imeshikilia vijana wengi sana mimi niko miongoni mwao So tungeomba baka vitu vingine zifanywe muweze kuongea na washikadau kabla hii mambo ya team sifanywe pia kama ni kwa parliament muite washikadau sio na siasa muite washikadau muite wakulima muite aggregators muite exporters waweze kuongea pale na waweze kueleza hizi vitu zinazoenda kuweza kufanywa maana siasa na ukulima na biashara ni vitu tofauti zinazini ndio zina uhusiano lakini lazima tuone njia tufanye kwa kazi kwa kimoja ili tuweze kuendelesha hii nchi kupeleka mbele na ndugu yangu alikuwa ameongea pia kuhusu kuhusu bei za bei ya matunda. Uh, bei ya maacha ni ya exporta kidogo. Hii bei ya matunda huwa inadiktatiwa na ile soko ambayo iko pale nje. Matunda ikiwa kidogo bei inakuwa juu. Ikiwa mingi bei inaenda inaenda chini. So ni kila mtu anapata kwa every, every person that gets the, the, the right amount at the right time. Na pia mkulima pia nyinyi mkiweza kumsaidia na mwempe extension services na kwa hiyo Kenya yende juu tutapata bi mzuri. Asante. Daktari Jeremiah Nanga.
Good afternoon, uh, Your Excellency. My name is uh, Colonel Retired Dr. Jeremiah Nganga. I am a farmer from Muranga. I started my farming journey on the 2nd of November 2018. And I was very happy because on 9th of uh, December 2022, my farm in Kekumo was declared the best orchard in Kenya during the uh, Avocado Excellence, Excellence Awards on the, in that particular year. But since then, <coughs> I've been able to add only 300 trees, but I've been able to increase the population up to 1,800 today. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, I want to thank you because of this particular conference. And we all agree one thing. The world is in love with avocados. That is a fact. Because of its high nutritional value and multiple health benefits. And because of this, when you look at the global trade, there is a general consumer demand globally. And this has also led to general increase in production and also growth in exports which means we are getting higher earnings. At the same time, it means we are also getting more economic gains and more economic power, which is there to assist the farmer and the value chain and the country. But as a farmer, when you look at how that economic power is distributed, it is skewed to other, other stakeholders in the value chain. But the farmer who I represent here is the, the small scale